it's obvious that men and women are wired differently. We tend to generally just do things differently than the opposite sex. We use the bathroom differently, eat differently, express our emotions differently, and so on. Therefore, it's quite obvious that women also fall in love differently than men. But in what ways? How do these unique differences set them apart? And how does it change the course of a relationship? Here are five ways that women fall in love. Number one, she needs to get to know you as a person. Sure, you guys may have had a few classes together and maybe even gone on a few dates, but does she really know you? How many deep, heartfelt conversations have you two had? Have you discussed that one time in the fourth grade when you got your head stuck in a fence? Not yet? Well, it'll come up, and it will definitely be essential for this relationship to prosper. See, women have a greater need to build memories with someone first, before falling in love with them, including sharing secrets and stories with one another. Men, on the other hand, need the initial attraction first. Whereas women can learn to fall in love over time by getting to know someone on a deeper level. Sometimes, these types of relationships tend to last longer and be stronger, since once the initial physical attraction becomes numb, there's nothing left for you two. Looks can only go so far, because we're all bound to grow old, and our bodies are forever changing. In the end, personalities that click are the true driving force for anything real and long-lasting. Number two. She needs to know what you think. With estrogen known as the female sex hormone, it's coincidentally also linked to memories, learning abstract concepts, and webbed thinking. It's all about stimulating the brain, since these are so important to her and traits she already acquires. Subconsciously, she wants to know that men are capable of logic and deep thoughts. It's an instinctive habit with wanting to know if your potential mate is going to be able to care for you and protect you. While it's fun to go on dates and do fun activities together, the most attractive quality is someone's unique way of thinking. Do we have similar views politically, socially, religiously? Do we have similar perspectives on life? Is he more logical-oriented or artistically inclined? Does his way of thinking challenge my views and ideals? Do we play devil's advocate successfully for one another? Intelligence is important, and though you don't need a man who is a certified genius who has the answer to all the questions, she does need to know that he's smart enough to help her in her time of need and also fend for himself. She needs to know that she can be with someone who is willing to explore life's philosophies with her. Number three. She needs to know that you're a good conversationalist. No matter what you decide to discuss, you both need to enjoy talking to one another. You need to be able to have interesting conversations that don't feel forced or dragged on about things the other doesn't care about. Obviously, this is completely subjective because different people have different ideas of what a good conversation entails. Some people like talking about everyday matters, like the weather and what happened at work that day, while others like debating for fun, and others like to discuss the what-ifs and potential future outcomes of the world. Through the best conversations, you bond closer with someone and become more intimate with them. Although good verbal skills are important when getting to know someone, silence is just as important. You should be able to have comfortable silence with another person. Someone should not have to always be talking. It's nice to have people who not only engage in good banter and debates, but also who can use words to teach things without coming off as being conceited. Number four. She needs to know that you're reliable. Since women are biologically programmed to be childbearers, they have a subconscious need to know that every mate is capable of potentially caring for a child with her. Since getting pregnant is very possible for most women, it's a major concern that her mate will be worthy of fathering her potential child. 
Bearing a child will affect their lives in a huge way. Therefore, women are more selective with who they choose a partner for survival purposes. They need to be sure that the person they're with is reliable and can provide for the family if the situation calls for it in the future. And number five, she needs to know that she can be herself in front of you. This does indeed pertain to both sexes, but it's especially important for women when trying to determine whether or not they're falling in love. Vulnerability is important when having general feelings for someone. She needs to know that she can be her full, true self around him, even in her most embarrassing and private moments. A lot of women tend to build walls up, and the men in their lives need to prove that they're going to be there for them always, in order for them to open up. Women are truly unique creatures, and earning their love takes time and patience. But it's well worth the wait. And those are the five ways that women fall in love. Do you agree with this list? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Ashley. You can follow me on any of my socials down below. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on any of our social medias. See you in the next video!